hey y'all long time no see um and that's because i've been going through a lot of crap in my fucking life so the reason why i have not been on youtube is because i needed a fucking breather i needed a fucking long break i was so lost that i could not make anything creative i could not make anything that was worth the shit other than me crying and being drunk and i got tired of looking like a goddamn fool and looking like a fucking mess a crack whore online crying about some ain't shit nigga i got tired of the shit okay so i took this time to try to heal but i'm not there yet so this is just like a mid-season update because i've gotten some comments because people were worried about me bitch i'm alive but i'm just not doing well and i'm gonna explain why so first things first i had to fire my fucking therapist so all people you would think would be there for me would be a fucking therapist but no so i kept seeing my therapist because of course i was still down from me and my ex's situation anybody who doesn't know what happened go back and look so i was still down from you know my ex rejecting me again after we had started talking again and i thought we were going to be able to have sex and he rejected me so i was seeing her for that reason and i was still drinking because you know of course it was hard for me to process the fact that i got fucking rejected again and i still loved him and i didn't realize that i did until all that crap happened and i would go see her for that reason and she would always mock me but this one last time bitch is when i fucking fucking fired her ass okay so i was talking about it and i was talking about how much i drank and because she was asking me oh how much are you drinking are you drinking again and i told her straight up i'm drinking as much as i was before bitch well i didn't say bitch but you know what i mean <laughs> and she's and she rolls her eyes and she's like why can't you just go back to rehab olivia come on now what am i doing here this isn't enough help for you obviously i feel like i'm talking to a wall and I was like, this bitch, this is what I was in my head. And I fucking left and I told her I was going to the bathroom. I didn't fucking go to no damn bathroom, bitch. I went outside and I went the fuck home, bitch. And I blocked her fucking number. And <laughs> well, I texted her first. I said, look, we both seem to agree that we're not, I'm, you're not a help to me. So please cancel my further appointments and I will get help elsewhere. Goodbye. And I blocked her ass. So I never thought I'd have to fucking fire a therapist out of my life but that bitch was not helping me because i was still on here making sad ass videos crying about niggas and all that shit so i had to find a therapist of all people so i've just been thugging it out alone i've been going to aa meetings and stuff which don't really help me that much because the people in aa don't understand what the fuck i'm going through so i just i've just been in a really lost place and this thing that's coming up is <laughs> a really kind of put the nail in the coffin that made me want to even make a video because I honestly was just going to wait till I felt better next month and maybe next month I would feel better and maybe I can make a video and I'm in a better mood and I can be these Livia Bish because I changed my name to these Livia Bish again that was my original name on my old channel because I want to get back to the gossip videos I want to get back to talking shit about other YouTubers I want to get back to being a shit talking gossiping bitch and not a crying ass bitch not talking about niggas not talking about my love life i'm tired of talking about this shit but i thought i was gonna get back to there because um i was just staying away from men i was staying away from sites that i've seen my ex on because i think i told y'all the last video that i kept seeing my ex on dating apps so i get off dating apps i stopped dating and here's what the fuck happened after i did all that so of course when you're trying to do fucking right the devil comes in and tries to destroy the shit essentially <laughs> and here's what happened so this happened on friday me and my mom we went to a AA meeting together we, there was like a special meeting there was like a special guest speaker or whatever so the meeting ran late and it was friday night so we got out of the meeting at like 9 30 and we go to a, a local steakhouse bitch to eat some steak and you know to just eat go out to eat with your mama because you know i mean i know i see my mom every day but we don't ever like spend any quality time together but anyway guess what so we literally were getting our meal and my ex comes up well thank god he didn't see me but i saw his ass and i wasn't even looking for his ass y'all I'm ADHD, so I'm I'm always looking around, rest, looking around the room, and I'm always like looking like around, and you know I'm ADHD. Anybody who's ADHD will understand. You may not even be, be trying to look for none, but you be looking around the room. Your attention is just short as shit, and that's why I, I looked over on the other side of the restaurant. I see my ex getting seated with some bitch, 
And before I get stupid comments like, y'all ain't together, move on, Olivia. Why are you mad? You single too? Bitch, my ex was in my inbox a month and a half ago around my birthday wanting to e eat it from the back, basically. Wanting to fuck the shit out of me. And I was this close to having sex with him again. But it didn't happen. You know, and I think it still sticks in my head that, you know, maybe I should have gave it up soon. Maybe I should have gave it up when he wanted me to. Because from, because if you guys remember, my ex was trying to pick me up so I could spend the night at his house. Um, he was hitting me up last minute though. He was hitting me up at midnight and I told him no because I didn't want to just spend the night over his house and just be a booty call. And next morning he gets, he takes me home at, at 7 a.m. And... <laughs> I've been holding on to that in my heart that I didn't do the right thing and that if I would have had sex with him that things would have been different maybe we could have still been talking maybe we, he could have still been in my life and this shit happened so he gets seated I see him get seated I knew no it's him like I like I only seen his side profile but I know it's him you know y'all know y'all know people that <laughs> you have so much history with that you can even see a fucking shirt they're wearing and you know it's him them and that's kind of what it was and he was getting seated with some bitch <laughs> like a date like it was 10 o'clock at night at this point on a friday night i know it was a fucking date and i i started looking like frantic my mom's looking at me like what's wrong olivia like my heart literally dropped dropped to my fucking stomach you guys i was so nauseated i was so sick i was so sad and disgusted so I, I was like, Mom, just just get a to-go box for my meal. You can get a to-go box too. I'm gonna be in the car crying. <laughs> like seriously, I literally just I darted out of that place and I went to the car and I started crying. My mom had to come, and she's like, Okay, I know why you're crying. I see him. <laughs> He's out on a date, but she's not cute. Believe me. <laughs> and it just it killed my vibe, you guys. To be honest, I was crying the whole night, and I told myself I wasn't going to drink but the but the minute I got home I started drinking my wine the spare wine I had in my cabinets I started drinking the shit I didn't even eat the rest of the night I was so depressed so replaying in my head how he was wanting to have sex with me about a month ago around my birthday a month and a half ago around my birthday and we didn't fuck and how he rejected me in the end and I I'm struggling with the should I have fucked him would he have would he have still been talking to me would he have stopped trying to date would i could have could i have made him my boyfriend again like i still clearly have feelings for him even though he's treating me so shitty and i don't understand why i do because i know he's unhealthy for me and he makes me want to drink and he did our whole relationship making me want to drink because he was so up and down and he would never tell me he loved me but i was always the one telling him i loved him out of the whole two years that we dated and it's like i had never seen him out with a woman you guys like this was the first time i've ever seen him out on a date all the times i've been out on dates i've never seen my ex anywhere and i was you know I, the only time i've ever seen him <laughs> besides this was in traffic but he'd always be alone but i guess the feeling of seeing my ex with another bitch made me realize that it's over olivia like he doesn't give a shit about you maybe he would have had sex with him he could have been dating somebody else then but it was just like it's just been a whole mind fuck you guys so that's why i haven't been making videos it's because my mind's just been just been getting fucked daily <laughs> like i try to better myself but every time i better myself and i try to stop drinking and i go go like a week without drinking something comes up to where i'm dr drunk again and i'm you know not staying sober because everything in my life keeps fucking crashing down it seems you know i wasn't even looking for my ex i wasn't even looking for anything like i was i gotten off all the dating sites that i seen my ex on like i wasn't on social media i haven't been on instagram you guys to even see because what's been going on i mean even though my ex has probably blocked me on instagram that's how he reached out to me again was on instagram and i just haven't been on there because i just don't want to have anything that reminds me of my ex like i've just been trying to cleanse myself from men but the shit keeps coming back to me like haha ha, olivia you're alone and he's out here dating and you're fucking alone so i've been just kind of drinking my feelings again and i haven't been proud of myself and i haven't been wanting to make any videos and <laughs> when i come back you guys i promise you guys when i come back probably next month that's my plan um i will be better i'll be more equipped to make better content i will be able to give y'all some good gossip and some good tea 
that's not just about my love life but just youtuber tea and really be able to talk shit but i just haven't been there right now you guys i'm hurting my ex's birthday is like literally coming up like it's his birthday weekend and that's another thing I really put the nail in the coffin too. It's like, you're able to get birthday pussy. Because I'm sure he's fucked that bitch. But I wasn't able to get birthday dick. You know, I turned you down. And then you didn't even want to fuck with me after that. Because I turned you down once. Because I didn't want to spend the night with you. And, and you just decided to not even want to have sex with me ever again. Or want to try to have sex with me ever again. Because I wasn't trying to be a ready-made booty call right when you wanted it. <sighs> So my ex's birthday is like literally like Tuesday so I've just been kind of down anyway in preparation for the, his birthday coming up and knowing that he's already dating and could possibly get some birthday pussy that's not mine makes me a little depressed even though I know he sucks. Um, so yeah that's where I'm at right now you guys. I hope to see you guys next month and I hope I'm in a better place mentally spiritually emotionally all that so i can be a better youtuber but yeah i miss you guys and thank you for your support comment below bye